Uh, how's everybody doing? Um, nothing real. But my, the only thing I would say, to, I, most of you probably were here yesterday. I didn't think we had a good day yesterday. Uh, we challenged each other in our meeting last night. I thought the defense came out, uh, came out and played pretty well. So with that, I'll open it up with your roll. Oh, I don't know. I mean, sometimes, you know, in the, all the years I've been doing this, you, you think with a day off they'd be fresher. It seems to go the other way. Now, the other thing is that the twos and threes that got a lot of reps, that's a quick turnaround. Um, and that might have had a little bit to do with it, but there's really no excuses. That's what we talked about last night. We got to... We can't be wasting any days. I thought we did a nice job bouncing back today. You've got a rather large body out there now. Say it again. You've got a rather large body out there now yeah. with Danny yeah. Shelton. What, what, what are your expectations of him for the rest of this month? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he, I, know he's, uh, he, he, I know he's very large. He's, I got a chance to talk with him a little bit. I, 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 I like him. I mean, I like the personality and how excited he is about being here. Let's, we'll see what happens. I mean, we've got a little ways to go. Um, we want make, they have that acclimation period. Um, so he hasn't really done much from the standpoint of being out there against the offense, but we'll see where, where time takes us. Yeah, um, listen, Rashad's feisty. It's good to get him back. I didn't, you know, when he got, had the surgery back in the offseason and I did the math, I wasn't so sure that we'd get him for now. Um, so I'm excited that we got him what, what I think was a little bit earlier. Um, and he's been out doing a good job. He's got some, you know, he's a little rusty. He's got to knock the rust off, but. I, th I thought he's done a pretty good job. How do you feel about how Karloffis did in, in the game on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, he made he had some production, right? Um, yeah, he made a couple of rookie mistakes, like they all do. But overall, I'd say very pleased. Yeah. So what kind of versatility do you think you have in the safety position, Justin, uh, with Brian, and obviously with Juan this year? Yeah, we'll find out. Um, I mean, years past, we've done some things with three safeties. We'll see where we are. We're, you know, we're trying a little bit of that now. I don't know whether it'll go there or not. It's going to come down to finding the 11 best guys, you know, for first, second, and third down. I'm not sure we have that figured out yet. He worked at uh, Trent McDuffie outside and inside. How has he done with uh, the Yeah, he, um, I remember talking to his college coach uh, back before the draft when we were researching all these guys. and. And Trent didn't play much nickel there at Washington, but his comment to me was that he could easily go inside and play. And so when he got here, I told him, you know, he's here to play corner and all that, but we would work him back and forth. That's all the injury thing. Somebody gets hurt, you know, we want to have backups. And when you start doing the numbers, I mean, there's a lot of bodies out there right now, um, but pretty quick, it's game day suit. It's 46 guys, and it, and it goes really quick. So it's good to have him doing both right now. Like you guys have won some reps, and your quarterback, your, your top top two quarterbacks, are standing wow. there pumping the pump back in the ball because yeah. is that just me? Were you here yesterday? I guess we didn't do that yesterday. <laughs> it's good that we, you probably saw that today. I did think they did a nice job, and we did mix some things up today, and I thought the guys did a good job mixing it up because right now the volume's a little bit high, you know, coverage wise, and some things we do, but it's nice to know somebody saw it that way. Yeah. Yeah. How do you, like, how much do you look at, okay, everyone's doing this, so I'll different, right? So we're a different look and harder to prepare for. There's a little bit of that. I mean, I, quite honestly, I kind of get focused on the teams that we're going to end up playing. And have an, I'm trying to have an eye toward what I think might be best against that and, and really working on those. Um, but, yeah, we do believe in being multiple. So we're working, we may be working on a bunch of things now that may not even show up for a month. Um, you, I mean, I know you like the uh, we'll find uh, out. Uh, not right now, uh, but at some point, if that becomes an issue, that's what you do. You, you, know, you got to make sure you get let the guys keep playing fast. Yeah, he did. I thought Josh did a nice job today. Uh, him and, and Jalen Watson have both done a nice job. I mean, all the young corners have been play, playing real well. Dave and Donald have been doing a great job with them. We, we got to figure it all out. To me, it still comes back, though, to um, how you respond in a game. Now, they had some, they got some more games to go here. And more than anything, how they respond when it doesn't go well. That's really what I have my eye on. Um, yesterday, we had some snaps there where it didn't go well for some guys. And I'm looking to see how they, especially at that position, right? I mean, you can't put your head in the sand or else they're coming right back at you. Yeah. 
Well, the good thing about our guys is they go against one of the best quarterbacks in the league, right? A bunch of good receivers, so you can see it here. Uh, and yesterday I was a little disappointed in a bunch of guys that didn't respond to adversity. And that was one of the things we talked about um, last night. Now, we had a pretty a decent day, so there wasn't the adversity. And see, but but it's going to come again. I mean, tonight the offense will have a conversation, and you know they'll be coming after us tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, where is he at in this game, and uh, will he play on Saturday? He's, he's an intelligent football player, um, and we're going to keep him in a rotation, just like we said. We believe in that with our big guys. Um, love his length. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, can't, you can't coach that, so hopefully we'll get some batted balls. Last two. Generally speaking, uh, from the game, how did you think your young guys did, especially the secondary guys? We're back there kind of thrown into it a little bit. Yeah. Were you happy with practice yesterday? Were you happy with the way they responded in the game? Pretty much. A little up and down. It, what, what, always, what I'm always looking at is big plays. I, mean, I just think in this league, you go into a game and you, we always chart uh, explosive plays, runs with passes. And when the passes get deep like that, it puts everybody on their heels and it can lead to points allowed, which is our number one goal. So there were some things in there in this past game that we just need to clean up from the standpoint of long pass plays. Looks like Joshua kind of took a chance and tried to tip it away. Yeah. What, what, what should he have done there? We got to make that play. I mean, I. I think he did for the most part. Um, I don't know. Maybe he closed his eyes. <laughs> you know. I mean, he can. He can. He'll make that play. You hope that. You know, as he gets more comfortable, the confidence comes there and he goes and makes that play. Jalen Watson made some very similar play today, but you're right, and I think Josh knows that, and he'll get better at it. It'd be a huge benefit anytime you can push the pocket, although Chris is pushing it inside too. I mean, really where it helps is the two outside guys when the quarterback can't step up. So I mean, all that all kind of goes together. And if anytime you can get the middle push, I think it makes the outside guys that much more effective. All right. Good. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah.